What's going on YouTube? GeoSnow right here. So in today's video, we're going to have a top 10 free tweaks that are available for the iOS 11.3.1 all the way down to iOS 11.2 Electra Jailbreak. These tweaks have been tested and work perfectly fine with this Jailbreak and are completely free so that you can download them and install them right now. Now, something that I would also like to mention is that all the tweaks that I'm going to present are from the default repositories like Big Boss or ModMyEye, so you do not have to add any particular repository to get them. And we're going to start with the first one, which is called Nougat Folder. Now, this tweak is simple, but very interesting. You can see that the folders have been changed and they look like on Android Nougat, which is pretty nice if you like this kind of folders, but it also has this kind of effect, which gives it a little bit of a uh, glamour to the iOS itself. Now, the standard iOS folders are pretty ugly in my opinion, so this one in here looks pretty nice. Now, if you're interested in the theme that I'm currently rocking is Mojito by Dennis Bednarz, but I'm going to make a video about themes in the coming days. So the next one that I'm going to show you is Badge Customizer. Now, as you can see, I have the settings application in there and the badge containing the number of updates or notifications that I have to address is currently purple. Now, by default, you probably know that is red. Now, something very important about Houdini was the fact that it allowed you to customize these badges and a lot of people want them customized for some reason. So this free tweak allows you to do just that. I'm going to show you if you install it, you're going to have it in here badge customizer and it gives you the ability to either enable it or disable it or to select the badge size or the badge color which the color in here can be selected with these uh, toggles in here and these blend modes now of course if you want to change the color you can also do so with the presets in here for example i want it to be um let's say orange or let's say something that is not very common, let's say blue. And then of course you will have to go back in here and press the spring. Something interesting is that they do have a preview option here that you can actually use. Now, if you go ahead and respring, it will take a few seconds. And after that, we're going to get back to the home screen. All right, so as you can see, the badge is now blue, which does indeed look better with this theme for some reason uh, compared to the purple one. But anyways, this is Badge Customizer. It has been tested. It works on iOS 11.3.x and iOS 11.2.x and can be downloaded for free. The next one in line is, of course, Roman Passcode. You've probably already seen it in my passcode system. I'm going to show you again. As you can see, the numbers have been modified so that they're no longer normal numbers, they're Roman numbers that you can uh, use. This is only for cosmetical reasons, it doesn't change how you input the numbers, they're still normal numbers, but of course, if you do it, it's going to work perfectly fine. The next one is called System Info, and this one in here is actually a tweak that will complete the uh, general About section. You probably know that normally you do have this uh, About section with some information about the application number, capacity, uh, some serial numbers, model, and so on. Well, this tweak adds a few fields in here, which will give you a lot of information about your system, like, you know, the public IP address, free memory, file system, and disk information, and and so on, which is definitely great. And it does provide a lot of information that you need so that you do not have to install any third parties again. Now, it's very important when you want to save your blobs and you do not know your board configuration because it's also in there. The next one is shy page dots. And as you can see, I do not have any page dots, even though there are two pages in here. And the reason for that is that it doesn't activate unless it's used. If you take a look in there on top of the dock, when I do switch, they do appear. You can see in there, but they disappear after that, which means that the screen is less cluttered and I do not have to see those dots every time. It's just a neat little feature. The next one in line is Faza, and yes, I know a lot of you and your dog probably know about Faza by now, but there are also newcomers in the community and they have to know about it. Faza is also a free file manager, which allows you to browse the file system and all the folders of the system. You can do modifications and anything you want to do on your system, but remember that with great power comes great responsibility. So please make sure that you do not remove something that is important for the system, because otherwise you may destroy the system and you may make it to not boot anymore, of course requiring you to update to the latest version, which is not jailbroken at the time. So pay attention to what you're doing, Falsa does give you a lot of opportunities to create files, view files, edit files, and of course browse the files. So it's just like on Android where you have full system access. But as I said, pay attention because bad things can happen. Next one in line is Color My Battery. And as you can see, my battery is currently 
pinkish, reddish, whatever. And you can actually change it, and you can change it for various percentages using this tweaking here. Now, the tweak is completely free, and if you go ahead in here, you have some customization for it to do. So, color my battery can be either enabled or disabled. You can hide the battery percentage, but being an iPod, I do not have it by default. And then you have here the low power mode color. So, I'm going to say, for example, I'm going to make it um, blue. And of course, when you enter in low power mode, it will automatically change to that color. Then you have the charging color, which is currently on. You can see that color in there, which is also something that you can customize if you want. And of course, it's easy to customize. And then of course, you have the uh, specific percentages from 91% to 100, from 81 to 90, and so on. And you can change them in here. After any change, you need to respring. So I'm going to do that right now. And there we go. As you can see, I have now a uh, orange battery, which is because it's charging, because it's connected to the computer. But anyways, I can see it being very useful when you want to customize your battery to look like your theme. And in this case, it does, because I have the reminders application, which shares pretty much the same color, and it does work with the battery color. So anyways, it's looking nice. Next one in line is eye cleaner, which is again a tweak that probably most of you and your dog knows about, but there are again newcomers in the jailbreak community that do not know about it. So eye cleaner is an application on iOS that allows you to pretty much do some serious cleaning of temporary files and Safari data and CDA sources and repositories and OTA software updates and so on. So this allows you to do quite a lot of cleaning and it's actually pretty good. If you press clean, it will definitely save you a lot of space, which is something good because normally on iOS you do not have such thing. Now you can toggle these on and off and if you do not want a particular thing to be cleaned, you can simply disable it like this and you're good to go. Now pay attention to what you're cleaning because you may clean up things that are needed. But anyways, you have the um, exclude application section that you can actually exclude. So tap in here add one and it will be excluded from cleaning. A very, very good application if you're running short on space and if you want to make sure that you do not have temporary files, cluttering and so on. Now the next one is Color My CC Modules and this one allows you to color the tiles on your control center. So if you take a look in here, currently I have them set to blue, which is of course not the official color, but I can go ahead and set them to match my theme. So if I go here to settings, this tweak also creates a settings panel in here and it's the color my CC modules. You go ahead in here and select whatever color you want. For example, let's make it red or this uh, in here and like that. Let's make it this, this color, which is horrible by the way, but it works to demonstrate. And of course you can enable and disable the tweak arbitrarily without having to remove it. But then of course, after you change that, you will have to press respring. All right, so after the respring, you can see that the colors of my control center in here have been changed. And yes, they do work when you're opening a uh, gadget. And yes, they are nice, but of course you have to match it with a good color because if you do what I did in here, you're probably going to end up with weird looks from people. But anyways, this is a great tweak since it's completely free and allows you to match up with your theme somehow or with your wallpaper and so on. And the last tweak, but not least, is the blurred tweak. The blurred tweak actually allows you to enable system-wide a black keyboard, which is something good because I don't really like the white keyboard Apple uses. Now, if you take a look in here, it looks like this, and this will be the keyboard default to all your applications, unless the application changes the keyboard somehow. But anyways, if the application uses the default white keyboard, it will be transformed in that uh, keyboard in there. So if you take a look in here at messages, and I press here on the email, as you can see, the keyboard is also this kind of uh, grayish style. So these are the 10 tweaks that are completely free and work perfectly fine with the Electra. These tweaks have been tested on iOS 11.3.1 all the way down to iOS 11.2, so you're completely safe. I'm pretty sure they work on other versions of Electra as well. But anyways, if you like this video, give it a thumb up. Tell me in the comment section down below what is your favorite tweak so that I can include it in my next video. And thank you for watching. I'm Geo Snow. Peace out.